What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. As you can tell, I'm just knocking out videos. I'm wearing the same thing. The last video you guys seen, I'm literally recording this right after that. But in this video, we are going to be going over my top three rod and reel combo setups for under $200 that I think these rods are the best for, like, that'll cover all your bases for bass fishing. So stay tuned. Like I said, these are my top three combos that are gonna cover, I feel like if you had these three rods, you could, it would cover all your bases for bass fishing. You know, if you don't have the budget to get, have like seven, eight rods with you at all times, or sometimes you guys are kayak fishing, fishing from a canoe, you just don't wanna carry all them rods with you. And you can usually get away with having three with you. Okay, so these three are gonna cover pretty much all your bases. They're under $200. Um, if you guys would like to see some cheaper combo setups, let me know in the comments below and we can work on a video like that. But um, I think that these are pretty much, for under $200, are some of the best setups that you guys can have for your money. So let's jump into that. All right, so the first setup, guys, is going to be a medium power, fast action rod. This is a 6'6". You could go longer um, or you could go shorter. 6'6 works good if you're, you know, fishing from shore and stuff and you got a lot of trees around you. Um, a 6'6 medium power fast action rod. Now you're going to notice that all these rods are St. Croix Mojo Bass rods, okay? Um, I'm a huge advocate for St. Croix. They have really, they're a really, really well-known company and they, oh, they produce great rods, guys. Um, I am going to be trying out, I just bought it yesterday actually, but I am, I bought a favorite rod, the Defender, um, and I'm going to be reviewing that and comparing it to a St. Croix rod, so stay tuned for that video, but um, like I said, a 6'6", medium power, fast action, Mojo Bass with a 7 one to one of Boo Garcia Reel, um, like I said, this comes in at under $200. It's a great, great setup for, I have a swim jig on here. I do not use this for swim jigging. Um, I put this on here for my wife when she was using it. But I usually fish um, beds with this. So I will fish a weightless Senko or a weightless bed fishing bait. That's pretty much what I'll use this for is just really, really light stuff. I'll even drop shot with this. I know people drop shot with spinning gear, but you can drop shot with a, with a, with a um, casting gear just fine. But this is going to cover all your light stuff. So if you want to pitch a weightless Senko, um, whenever you can go weightless, you're going to go weightless. So weightless Senko, um, any sort of weightless thing. But very, very good for light tackle, guys. Light Texas rig setups and whatnot. It's great for the light setups. So the next one that we're going to be talking about, guys, is what I think is the best rod and reel combo overall for um, bass fishing. I made a video on it before, but it is a medium heavy fast action. This one's a 7-1 medium heavy fast action rod. Um, like I said, Mojo Bass from St. Croix with a 7-1 to 1 uh, Abu Garcia Pro Max. The reason why I like these Abu Garcia Pro Maxes is you can get a 7-1 to 1 gear ratio reel. Comes in at, I think they're like 60, 70 bucks. So it comes in at a reasonable price and Abu Garcia makes some really good reels. Guys, I've been using these Pro Maxes for forever now and I put them I haven't even cleaned these reels yet which is stupid of me I should clean my reels but I haven't cleaned them and I've had no issues and this reel specifically I've been using for I don't know like three seasons now never cleaned it I have no issues with this reel whatsoever um, Abu Garcia makes like some bulletproof reels guys and it's at it comes in at a great price point um, but like I said 7-1 medium heavy power uh, rod it's great for throwing a jig this is a 3 8 ounce jig Great for flipping docks. You can frog with this rod if you want. I have frogged with this rod. Um, I prefer to frog with a heavy, but the uh, the medium heavy will get will do frogging for you. Really good for a jig. Um, a little bit heavier Texas rigs and stuff like that, but a medium heavy can pretty much do a lot. So I think this is definitely a setup you need in your arsenal. So lastly, guys, we're gonna be going to the 7.4. Heavy power, fast action, Mojo Bass, 7 1 to 1 gear ratio reel on it, Abu Garcia Pro Max. Um, this is your workhorse rod, guys. Um, this thing is going to be your frogging rod, it's going to be your punching rod. Um, basically, the workhorse rod. I mean, it's a big, stiff rod. You can even, I have a 7 11 heavy power, moderate action rod, which I use for punching. And the reason why you want a nice tall 7 11 is when you set the hook, you want to get that fish up and out of there. Um, I use this one only for frogging pretty much, but you can punch with a 7.4. 4 
Um, heavy power, like I said, this is just great for fishing that thick vegetation where a medium heavy might be just a little too much depending on how thick you're fishing. Um, but like I said, 7.4, heavy power, fast action rod, 7.1.1, Abu Garcia reel. I have no complaints um, with these St. Croix rods and these Abu Garcia reels. Just a bulletproof setup, guys. That is gonna wrap up that video, guys. Like I said, three setups for under $200 a piece. Um, I think, like I said, those are gonna cover your basis. Like with those three rods, you could pretty much do what you need to do. Um, and if you need, I did one thing I didn't mention was crankbaits. If you're gonna throw crankbaits or chatterbait, the medium heavy does that just fine. So if you wanna do any of that, um, and one thing I would suggest to you guys, if you're gonna be fishing clear water, right? Um, and you don't have a rod specifically set up for crankbaits or, you know, something with clear water, what you can do is take some, you know, 12 to 15 fluorocarbon, make a little, make a, like a 12, 12 inch leader on it and, you know, tie it off to your braided line. I know that fluorocarbon can get expensive. So, and it's not like you guys have a bunch of reels to uh, swap out on your rods. So if you don't have that, I would buy um, a spool of fluorocarbon and just make up some leaders so that you can attach it to your, uh, your, your main line if you get into that clear water situation. It's gonna save you some money. And it's always nice to have braid backing on your, on your reels. So, but like I said, that is my top three combos. If you guys have a better combo for under $200 that you think is better than the St. Croix Abu Garcia matchup, Drop it in the comments below. I'd love to see it. Maybe I'll try it out. Um, like I said in the last video, guys, 5,000 subscribers. I haven't done a giveaway yet, but at 5,000 subscribers, we're doing a rod and reel giveaway. I don't know if it's, it might even be one of these rods um, or a brand new setup. But for one of you guys, I'm going to be giving a rod and reel um, giveaway at uh, 5,000 subscribers. All you gotta do is be subscribed and uh, drop comments down below. But when that giveaway gets here, we'll get going on that. But like I always say, keep fishing hard.